صباح الخير uh, Good morning uh, This is Munir Ajam It has been a while since I've recorded some videos uh, As you can see I'm in a car I was meeting with the clients And I wanted to share with you some ideas And uh, some of the discussion uh, In this short video I will be asking questions And I will be asking you for example Whether you have in your company A certain procedure, policy, guideline uh, you can use these terms interchangeably. I don't mean uh, that you need to have all of these, but for anything, uh, any specific action that you need to take, uh, is there any company procedure or a policy or guideline? Now, what I'm looking for here is something of written. Um, it could be basic. It could be very uh, elaborate. Uh, it could be quite informal, but at least something that is um, written so uh, people can use it consistently okay here we go um, some of the questions we will be asking um, if you are in the office or at home it's a good time to get maybe a piece of paper and a pen uh, if not you need to use your hand so hopefully you're not driving um, I'm gonna be asking questions and then uh, if you have the paper you can put yes on one side and uh, another column for no and then I'll be asking question and then if your answer is yes you can put a check mark in the yes column and if the answer is no you can put a check mark in the no column or if you are not having paper and pencils use right hand for yes and left hand for no here we go um, the assumptions here is that you work in a company that at least 50 to 100 people uh, or more that mean you as a company should have some formalized processes and procedures and guidelines uh, for some of the things you do so question number one do you have an HR department uh, would assume yes but uh, I don't know I'm when when I say department we don't need, mean 20 people it could be you know the HR function is it formalized Does have a manager and uh, does this HR department have policies and guidelines or recruitment? Yes or no? Does it have guidelines on grade codes and salary structure? Yes or no? Does it have guidelines on uh, career or maybe training and development? Yes or no? Let's move from HR. Let's go to uh, finance. And this may be a question related to finance and HR. If an employee need to go on a business trip, is there any financial guideline uh, that define what kind of travel policy that apply? This could be in the HR or it could be part of finance. Uh, different organizations do it differently. Meaning that what is the employee, uh, what kind of flight can they take, uh, business class or first class or economy, what kind of hotel can they stay at, and what would be considered a reasonable expenditure for food. Or is there a per diem guideline? Are these things... So is there a travel policy? Let's put it that way. Yes or no? Um, let's move to marketing and social media and PR. Um, does the organization have some kind of guideline on who have the right to speak to media or on certain events or who can post official messages on the company behalf uh, on social media site? Yes or no? Does your company do projects, whether in the HR, finance, IT, or capital project, or business project, or customer orientation, customer awareness, whatever you can classify uh, as a project? Do you have, uh, do you do project, yes or no? Um, when you do projects, uh, does your HR system have a clear job description for project manager or for the project management staff yes or no do you have guideline method processes uh, to manage project yes or no maybe enough questions now why am I asking all of these questions obviously if you have a lot of the no uh, a lot of the answers on the no column that means as an organization you probably need to consider spending some effort and time on uh, developing uh, processes for running your business. Uh, otherwise, um, maybe one more question. 
will the business be sustainable uh, on the long run without formalizing processes for the business and action that you take. Uh, if you have mostly, I would, uh, based on many discussion with the organization, what we've noticed is that there are many questions, many answers that are yes on the first set of the question I was asking related to issues with HR or finance or marketing, but there are usually no's on the column related to the question on projects. So here you go. Maybe a couple of final questions. Why? do you think it's justifiable that an organization could have a policies and guideline and procedures on hiring or recruitment or sending somebody to training or somebody posting something on Facebook um, or uh, going on a business trip? These kind of things might be few thousand dirham and expenses, maybe some effort. However, it doesn't see the need to have formalized processes and procedures and guidelines for managing projects that could cost thousands and if not millions of dollars. One last question. How or why do you think organization can get away or maybe get away is the wrong word, uh, can justify having an HR department and a marketing department and a finance department and an IT department and maybe a sales department and I don't know what else, uh, but no project department. Think of this and maybe we can talk more in future videos. We would love to hear your thoughts. Please comment, write us. Thank you.